Hello students, so previous class we have discussed uh, um, uh, introduction part of the analog electronic circuit. In analog electronic circuit we have discussed uh, the basic terms of uh, which are used for a transistor biasing. In a transistor biasing we have discussed the proper flow of the zero signal collector current and maintenance of proper base emitter voltage is known as transistor biasing. Then we have, then we have discussed what is Q point or operating point. Operating point is nothing but the zero signal values of IC and VC is known as the operating point or Q point. The point where the transistor is operating is known as the operating point. Then we have discussed that is your stabilization. The stabilization is nothing but the process of making operating point independent of the variation of the transistor parameter is nothing but your stabilization. Then we have discussed that is your load line in output characteristics curve when the load line intersect the output characteristics curve the possible operating the possible uh, intersecting point is your operating point or Q point. So, then today now we will discuss the general expression for the stability factors. Then uh, after that we have analyzed uh, the various biasing methods. So, now uh, uh, today now we are going to discuss the general expression general expression for stability factor stability factor so stability factor means what if you stabilize the q point ultimately you uh, the uh, ultimately we will get a good amplified output. So, in as far as stability factor is concerned, so generally there are three parameters, one is your ICO or ICO is nothing but the reverse saturation current or leakage current. So, in ICO, ICO is your reverse saturation current, reverse saturation current. or leakage current already I told you what is ICO. So, ICO or ICBO collected to base current when emitter is open in ICBO or ICO this is your in common base configuration this is your base this is your emitter and this is your collector. ICBO the concept of ICBO concept of ICBO or ICO collector to base current when emitter is open. That means, when the input is open, emitter is open, collector to base current when emitter is open, when emitter is open means input is open, the current flow in the output loop that is your ICO or ICBO or ICBO, ICO or ICBO. If there is input is open, there is no chance the current flow in the output loop. So, if due to some minority charge carrier, very very negligible amount of the current flow in the output loop. So, that is called the leakage current or reverse saturation current ICO or ICBO. So, in ICO as far as ICO is one of the transistor parameters, every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature ICO doubles, every 10 degree centigrade every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature rise in temperature ICO or ICBO doubles doubles. So, that means when the transistor is operating the heat is developed within the transistor means temperature increases. So, if the temperature increases if you will not follow a proper biasing method that the transistor will means what leakage current will be increases. In the cumulative process of temperature uh, the leakage current the further result will be the transistor may burn that condition is called the thermal runaway, thermal runaway, thermal runaway. What do you mean by thermal runaway? The self destruction of an unstabilized transistor is nothing but a thermal runaway condition. The self destruction of the self destruction of 
unstabilized transistor unstabilized the self destruction of unstabilized transistor is called as thermal run away condition thermal run away okay so thermal run away if the transistor is operating heat is developed within the transistor if the temperature increases if the temperature increases the temperature is very much dependent on leakage current or ico if every 10 degree centigrade ico doubles if the temperature increases ico doubles ico increases or leakage current increases if ico increases so another leakage current that is an ico ico also increases what do you mean by the ico concept of ico collector to emitter current when base is open in case of common emitter configuration in common emitter configuration collector to emitter current when base is open this is your icbo in case of common base configuration base is common between emitter and collector if input is open the current flow in the output due to some minority charge carrier that is called the reverse saturation current or leakage current that is your ico in case of common base configuration in case of common emitter configuration in your common emitter emitter is common this is your emitter this is your base and this is your collector if the base is open means input is open if the input is open the current flow in the output due to some minority charge carrier that is called the leakage current is ico so ico also increases if ice temperature increases again leakage current increases ico increases again I, if ico increases then ico increases if again ico increases again ic increases if ic increases again also temperature also increases so this cumulative process continues and the matter of second the transistor will burn so this condition is called the thermal run away conditions so there is a relationship between ico and icbo as we know that ic we know that as you know that in common emitter configuration in common emitter configuration current amplification factor beta equal to ic by ib ic by ib ic or ic equal to beta ib ic equal to beta ib this is your current amplification factor beta ic equal to beta ib so if you will consider the leakage current so ic equal to considering leakage current ic equal to beta ib plus ic eo if you will consider the leakage current in common emitter configuration already i told you what is ic eo collector to emitter current when base is open collector to base current in previous slide so already i told you what is ic eo collector to base current collector to emitter current when base is open when the input is open the current flow in the output loop due to some minority charge carrier that is your ico so here ic equal to beta ib plus ico so as we know that ico ico equal to 1 plus beta times icbo so which equal to beta ib plus 1 plus beta times icbo or ico so ic equal to beta ib plus 1 plus beta times icbo or ico so in previous slide so that is your here if temperature increases icbo increases if icbo increases again ico increases because ico equal 1 plus beta times icbo if again ico increases again also ic increases ic increases if this increases means ic eo increases again ic increases if ic increases at the matter of second the transistor will burn this condition is called the thermal run away conditions as far as stabilization of the q point if you 
uh, if you develop a proper biasing method, proper biasing circuit, so that the transistor parameter or leakage current, if you control the leakage current or ICEO, then ultimately you can stabilize the Q point. It is one of the parameters like your leakage current or reverse saturation current. So, second parameter is your beta, beta, this is your current amplification factor, beta. So, there are three parameters, one is your leakage current, another one is your beta, then third one is your VV. So, beta is a current amplification factor. So, beta value from transistor to transistor. As you know that beta is a current amplification factor. So, in a same manufacturing company, the same materials which are uh, using for uh, to, um, production of a transistor, the beta value vary from transistor to transistor. If the beta value is varying, or as we know that beta equal to IC by IV, IC by IV. So, beta value vary from generally beta value vary from 50 to 200, 300 like this, 50 to 300 like this. Rem uh, remember, if the beta value varies, ultimately the current will be changes. If you will not follow the proper biasing method, that might be operating point or Q point may be shifted towards either cutoff region or saturation region. Already I told you in output characteristics curve, this is your y axis is your collector current and x axis is your IC is your VC. This x axis is your VC output current versus IC versus VC at constant IV, at constant IV, this is your IV. So, IV equal to 5 microampere. So, IV equal to 10 microampere. IV equal to 15 microampere like this. And this is your load line. This is your load line. So, this point is your cutoff point. Previous class already I, I have discussed. This point is your VCC, the output equation VC equal to VCC minus ICRC, VC equal to VCC minus ICRC, previous class already I told you ICRC. So, if this point IC is 0, if IC is 0, then VC equal to VCC, if v, at this point VC equal to 0, so IC equal to VCC by IC sat, one point is your IC, IC saturation, that is your VCC by RC and this point is your VC equal to VCC. In this point, here IC equal to 0. When IC equal to 0, VC equal to VCC. This is your cutoff point and this is your saturation point and this is the possible operating point A, B, C like this. So, if you not stabilize the Q point, the possible operating point may be your middle of the low line. That means, the min minimum, uh, um, if the IC is your 10 milliampere, it might have approaching 5 milliampere like this and if VCC equal to 20 volt, VC equal to 10 volt, nearly 10 volt. So, that the Q point must be, you can stabilize the Q point. If you not stabilize the Q point, that point may be shifted towards the cutoff re saturation region or may be shifted down to the cutoff region. So, if there are three parameters, one is your leakage current ICBO or ICO, another one is your beta. ICO totally dependent on the temperature when the transistor is operating that uh, heat in temperature increases, when the temperature increases, leakage current increases. If you will not follow a proper biasing method or if you will not stabilize the Q point, ultimately the Q point may be shifted toward the saturation region or shifted down to the cutoff region. So, we have to stabilize the Q point. For that only, we have to follow a proper biasing method. One parameter is ICB already I told you, then another is beta. So, beta value is vary from transistor to transistor. How to stabilize the Q point is important, but beta value is not in our hand. So, in manufacturing company, the beta value vary from the transistor to transistor. So, we have to follow a proper biasing method to stabilize the Q point, even though your beta value vary from transistor to transistors. And third parameter is your base emitter voltage VB, VBE. As already I told you, in uh, base emitter voltage VB, so this is your emitter and this is your base and this is your collector. VBE, the base emitter voltage VBE. What is VBE? In a germanium transistor, VBE is your 0.3 volt and silicon transistor 0.7 volt. If VBE, the minimum voltage required for a transistor to conduct, if it is a germanium transistor, it is 0.3 volt and silicon that is your 0.7 volt. 
if not follow the biasing method, if your input voltage is below the 0 0.3 or 0 0.7 either germanium or silicon transistor, the transistor will not operate. So, in VB every 25 millivolt, every 25 millivolt per degree centigrade VB decreases, the value of VB, the value of VB decreases the value of VB decreases for every 25 millivolt for a degree centigrade rise in temperature. For every uh, the VB value, the value of VB decreases for every 25 millivolt per degree centigrade rise in temperature, rise in temperature. Remember, so, already I know, I told you the concept of ICB or ICO, then beta third parameter is VB. Remind if per degree centigrade VB value decreases 25 millivolt per 25 millivolt, minimum voltage required for a transistor to conduct is 0 0.3 volt for germanium and 0 0.7 volt for silicon. If you not follow the proper biasing method, the VB value decreases for per degree centigrade rise in temperature, the VB value decreases. So, every point a degree centigrade rise in temperature, VB value decreases. At the matter of second, the transistor will not conduct. So, how to control the VB? That means the three parameters ICO, beta, and VB. Three, if you will control the three parameters, ultimately you can control or stabilize the Q point. If you will stabilize the Q point, that means you will get a good amplified output of the transistors. So, that is what we have to stabilize three transistor key parameters ICO, beta, and VB. Next, the expression for the stability factor, st stability factor expression. One of the formula uh, expression for stability factor, expression for the stability factor SF, the particular biasing method the one formula we have to derive so that this formula uh, the formula gives you the which uh, the value of the uh, the output produced at the transistor whatever the you will get the output that means this the stability point q point or, or particular value of ic and vc the transistor you will get a good amplified output or not in a stability factor as far as your ICO is concerned, is one of the transistor parameter. So, stability factor SF equal to DIC by DICO, DIC by DICO, change in collector current to the change in leakage current. So, one of the this is your formula. If the value of the stability factor is less, the stability will be more. If you control the ICO, then you will get you can ultimately control the stability uh, 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 Q point. So, SF equal to DIC by DICO. What, what value of IC? That means, if ICO is in, uh, the value of ICO, if the value of ICO increases or decreases, depend on, on the stability factor. If the ICO increases or decreases, then ultimately you can identify your biasing method is, is more accurate or not. As far as the leakage current ICO is concerned, SF equal to DIC by DICO. Similarly, beta. If you will consider beta one of your transistor parameters, then S of a beta equal to DIC by D beta, change in collector current to the change in beta. So, if the beta value changes, how much collector current will increase or decrease? That is what the relation is called the S of beta as far as beta is your stability factor, uh, beta is your parameters. Similarly, VB base emitter voltage. So, S, S of VB equal to DIC by DVB, DVB. If the value of VB changes, what amount of the collector current changes? That relation holds. That is your S of VB. The stability of VB, the stability factor, as far as VB is concerned, the value of IC increases or decreases depend on this value. That is your S of VB. These three parameters, IC, beta, and VB, these are the formula. How much collector current changes? 
So, our collector current means operating point IC and VC should be independent of this parameter, the parameters of ICO, beta and VB. That means, your this ICO, beta and VB, if variation of ICO, beta and VB should not, up, if it will varies ICO, beta and VB, that means it will not affect the Q point or operating point that, that is the middle of the low line, the Q point should be selected middle of the low line. In general expression for the stability factor, one formula we have to derive. In that formula, in every biasing method, we have to judge the particular biasing method is suitable for transistor biasing or not. In common emitter configuration, in C, in common emitter configuration, collector current ICE, IC equal to beta IB plus ICEO. ICEO is nothing but collector emitter current when base is open or uh, we can say beta IB plus ICO is nothing but 1 plus beta ICO, ICO, this is your IC. If you will be differentiating this equation with respect to IC, differentiating with base DIC, DIC by DICO is equal to beta differentiating with respect to IC, differentiating, differentiating, differentiating the above equation, differentiating the above equation with respect to, with respect to IC, with respect to IC this will be 1, this is your beta DIB by DIC beta DIB by DIC plus 1 plus beta DICO by DIC. So, this term uh, this is nothing but beta DIB by DIC plus 1 plus beta DIC by DICO is your SF, DIC by DICO is your SF if DICO by DIC equal to 1 by SF. So, this is nothing but 1 by SF is your stability factor. So, this is this is equal to 1. So, here 1 minus beta DIB by DIC equal to 1 plus beta by SF or SF equal to stability factor equal to is how much SF if this, this this is one term and this is one term. So, SF equal to 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta DIB by DIC, DIB by DIC. This is if expression is very very important. This is the general expression for the stability factor. In a stability factor SF equal 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta DIB by DIC. So, any, any biasing method, there are 4 biasing methods are there, fixed bias, collected base bias or feedback bias, emitter bias and voltage divider bias. So, there are 4 biasing methods. So, with the help of this stability factor, we can judge that biasing method.